what is up guys this is here and here welcome back to tech current youtube channel if you're using redmi note 8 and also waiting for miui 12 update you already might know that miui 12 global stable is finally available for redmi note 8 users global stable already has some features missing like there's no navigation bar pill here no floating windows and some little bit of features are missing there too you should install this build which is called Mi 12 Grecian mode which has all the missing features including the navigation bar pill here, the floating window, some other things which I'm gonna share with you in this video. Stay tuned for that and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Okay, so guys, as you already know that Mi 12 Global Stable is now available for Redmi Note 8 users, which has some features missing. First of all, we are going to talk about the features which are missing in the Global Stable, official Global Stable. First of all, the no navigation bar pill here, no Android 10 gestures, some things like that. Let me show you by going into additional settings and going to full screen display. You have the option of hide full screen indicator, which means we have the navigation bar pill. We can hide this if we wanted to, but it's not compulsory here like this you can simply enable this like this and this will work like great and also we have the google assistant option available here too like this one so there are some cool kind of features which you get in this build so you can say some missing features are available here first of all now let's talk about another missing feature which is not available in the global stable let me tell you which feature i'm gonna talk about right now so sorry for that this one now you can see there is a floating windows option available which was not available in the official mini 12 global stable so if we click here if we want to launch any app in the floating windows we can easily launch like this you can see this is working great here you can use any app in the floating windows we already know about that we can simply like this we can choose wherever we want to do this looks great here and you can simply exit from here floating windows was not available in the mini 12 global stable but this build has this option available I will recommend you to choose this build instead of the global stable also let me show you some other things about this thing if you go to the theme store you will see Grecian repack the theme store has almost same things like the mini 12 official global stable for redmi note 8 but if you go to the my account and go to the theme store you will see the import option available there yes in global stable you will see the india theme store that's where there was not a, not an option available for the import option to import third party themes but yes this has the chinese theme store so you can easily import the third party themes without any issues as global stable is stable also comes in the form of recovery room not available as an ota so it's better if you have unlocked bootloader if you have a custom recovery you can install this build instead of the official global stable because that has some features missing and this grecian mode has all the features covered up also with has some extra features i'm going to talk about all those features also first of all it's a global stable yes it's officially global stable it's based on your official global stable it's not anything else like that this is a minui 12.0.1 global stable and if you go for the all specs it has almost same things like the official global stable which have the september security patch as you already know you saw my video of the latest review of me 12 global stable update which has this thing me global stable 12.0.1 and you can see qco mixmm i mean this is a global build it's based on the global one so has almost all the global features including some cool kind of things if we go to the display settings we have the option of maximum brightness on call and maximum brightness in the gallery this is kind of really interesting we also have the system fonts and text size and font weight options we can also customize the list animation the these features are not available in the official global stable so it's better to try out this build right now as global stable is not arrived in OTA update till now so it's better to install this one we also have the double tap turn of the screen and swipe up to turn of the screen some other things include the control center and notification share let me show you one thing if I swipe down from here you will see my notification panel if I swipe down from here you will see the control center but if I swipe down from here you will see my notification panel and from here you will see the control center this is very interesting thing in this build and this thing i only got in this grecian mode which is very interesting for the display option if you go for the control center and notification shade 
you also have the option of hiding the notch and as you can see i have enabled this option from here we also have the toggles customizations we have some other customizations which include the colored notification icons i sometimes use this feature Network speed int interval is also one of the great thing and also you can customize to update the speed to 0.1 second up to 5 seconds. That's interesting too. Use new control center and this is interesting. This is like open control center with a swipe on the left. By default, if we swipe down from here, you will see this kind of option. But if you swipe down from here, you will see control center. So there are four actions in these things. One, two, like this, three and four. That looks really great here and now let's move on to some cool kind of other things you all know that android 10 gestures were not available in the global stable these are available here too floating windows are available here too and some other things which include a theme import option there is a full screen indicator which is called the pill so all these features are available which are we waiting for go and install this build right now if you go for the notifications and if you go for the notification shade like this, you also have the option to customize your MIUI or Android style notifications. So if you're a lover of Android style notifications to reply directly from the notifications, then this option is very helpful for you. And if you go for the home screen, we also have the option to choose a web app drawer. Like in my case, I'm using app drawer option and also has the option to choose the background in the folder. Some other options include the automatic closing of folders, lock home screen layout, global icon and animation global stable has some features missing and this room comes with a lot of features also if you go for the wallpaper section you will see system wallpapers some must have online wallpapers my wallpapers and there are some a lot of online wallpapers are available here too also we have another feature including the unlock after reboot so if you reboot your device and want to unlock your device with your fingerprint or your face lock you can simply enable you can simply choose that option and it will be unlocked successfully without any issues Talking about the battery backup, in my case, I have tested from some time. The battery backup is good. It's not that much awesome. And you will see my standby time is 11 hours and 16 minutes with 1 hours 26 minutes of screen time, which is quite impressive. It was only at 70%. And through this kind of standby, which is more than 11 hours with 1 hour and 26 minutes of screen time is good, according to the MIUI, because right now AOSP Rooms has better screen on time, better battery backup up in my opinions not sure about you if you go for the special features we already know that we also have the game turbo we also have the video toolbox option and also let me show you one thing which was not available in the global stable if you go for the gallery and let me show you by going into some albums if we click here and if we go for the edit option you might not see this filter sky option in the official global stable if you go for the filters we have a lot of filters available classic portrait movie like this we also have the sky filters which is one of the cool kind of features right now in xiaomi we have the choose option to sunny azure cloudy you can choose the cloudy option available too if you have a picture which has these kind of things which you want to apply these kind of options you can choose a sunny evening night and dynamic these are very cool kind of filters which you get in this build all other things are same here as i already told you it is great in the terms of uh, smoothness because it's official global stable you can try out this build the link for this build is in the description you can go and install now this is all thanks for watching goodbye